Last day here in Kota Kinabalu. We're off on a flight to Sendakan today, but this has been one of our favorite Airbnbs we have stayed in throughout our years of traveling. The reason I say that is there's a lot of amenities here. It's close to the beach. The Airbnb host is the best. He has a cat that always wanders around and is so friendly. We're really gonna miss this place. We're gonna miss you, Kota Kinabalu. We'll be back though. We still got more to explore. This is my favorite part of us leaving every time I was watching Anna get her bag on. I don't feel too hot today, guys. Okay. Good morning. Thank you so much for the best day ever. Seriously, it was like the yeah. best. That's how you say it so long. But here's a card. We do YouTube and like we like to show the Airbnbs we're at and like just the places we're at oh. traveling. Alright. So, so you might be in our video. Oh, <laughs> that's thank okay. you so much. Yeah. yeah. Thank, thank you. you so much. Bye, have a nice day. Bye. This is our Airbnb's cat. We told you he was cool. Look at him badass on top of that car. We don't know his name, it's a Chinese name, so. We love him nonetheless. We love you, See you kitty, kitty, kitty. We just got to the airport and we are headed to Sendakan. Why, you might ask, because it has so many different attractions like this Hurdle Island. See some orangutans, some elephants, some crocodiles. There's a lot to do and we're so excited. But first, we gotta get on our airplane. All right, Malaysians, we need your help again. What time should we go to the airport? We seem to be getting here way too early, like two and a half hours early. So we wanna know. We're so used to how it is back in the United States where it's very hectic and chaotic, but here it seems kinda chill. Comment down below. The best thing about today is that Anna and I are wearing our matching shirts. My mom got it for us for our going away gift. And check them out. They say the other side. There we go. Thank you, mother. I hope you're watching this. Tell everyone I say hi. All right. Thank you. Thanks. We are not in first class. Those look nice. Wow. They fold up for your legs. There is no one on this flight, if you could see behind me. So we got our own seats. Woo! I might move away from her. Get my own seat. <laughs> Next stop, Sendakin. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank, you. Thank you. It's a beaut. The bag has arrived. Traveling in Malaysia has been so easy and convenient. I think I just want to stay here forever. It's so cheap too. It was only $23 each ticket. Yes, we did have to get baggage for an extra $8 each, but that's still so cheap. Thank you. It's big, it's big. If you're in Malaysia, always take a grab taxi because the driver's always the best, they're the nicest, and it's cheaper than taxis. Yes, Adrian and Ian. Nice to meet you, I'm Ian. Okay. Nice to meet you. <laughs> wow. Thank you. Oh, very nice. Aircon. Everything you need again. We got the aircon. Anna in the bed. We got a fan. Beautiful bathroom right outside this door. This is gonna be a lot of fun in Sadaka, and we got a lot of adventures planned. Let's go. Whoop. Our Airbnb hosts are very nice. They just got us some drinks and we're talking about everything. And we're talking about how they want to head to the U.S. soon. And here's their grand no. plan. <laughs> Not soon, but in the end. Ho hopefully one day. Yeah. Alright, what's the grand plan? <laughs> Pretend like this isn't here. Okay, hopefully uh, one day we can get to New York, the big cities there. Uh, and travel south through Ooh. South Carolina. That's where she went to school. Oh. You went to school there? Yeah. yeah. yeah uh, because I would like to try some barbecues. <laughs> I heard it's very Ooh. famous there. Oh. It's so, so good. Awesome. And then, would you ever go to California? Yeah, hopefully. Yeah. Yeah. What about Ohio? Ohio, on the way back, maybe. Yeah. Maybe? Yeah. It's a maybe spot. <laughs> I think we have to because you have to pass the, the route there, right? As you can see, we have some great Airbnb hosts in here in Sendakan. Anna's feeling a little down right now. She took a nap. 
she just doesn't feel good and won't eat, but she is eating the oranges we got from Kodaginabalu City Market. If you didn't see that video, it's right up here. We're gonna head out and get some food real quick and a lot of water at 7-Eleven. We ended up coming to McDonald's instead because we got lost, I put in the wrong address. So we're gonna try McDonald's here for the first time in Malaysia. Let's see how it goes. We heard that Nasi Lamak is like good at McDonald's. So we're gonna get, oh, I don't, I'm not getting it, I don't know. I'm sick. She's hurting, but I will try the Nasi Lamak for you guys here at McDonald's. A pancake, a hot cake with Sunday. That looks good. What are you gonna get? Yes. Hello, how are you? Um, yes. Can I get the Nasi Lamak? And uh, I'll do the set B. I had to get it extra spicy. I'm a spice guy, so I'm excited to see what Nasi Lamak is. It's kind of weird trying Nasi Lamak for the first time at McDonald's. And I got the regular kids meal. No, I didn't. How, uh, how are they? I you didn't get a get large a... fry. Are the fries good? No, I didn't get a Happy Meal. You didn't get a Happy Meal with the toy? I just got chicken and fries. Not greasy, which is good, because I'm pretty sure McDonald's at home gets me sick anyways, and I'm already sick. But right now, we get the Nasi Lamak. I got the spicy. It has an egg on top. The egg is actually really good. It's a real egg. Oh, no. What is that? That's fish. <laughs> Smell that. No. I'm sick. Okay, zoom in on this. What is this? So is it dried fish? Someone let me know. It smells like the sea. No, it's good. good. They got good chicken. I just noticed how unique this McDonald's is and McDonald's in Malaysia are because they serve rice. At home in the United States, they do not serve rice. And they don't have fried chicken. They have like chicken slack. But not like this. This is like KFC style. I'm gonna give that Nasi Lamak at McDonald's a 6.5 out of 10. The dried fish or whatever that was, if you guys tell me below. It was a little weird in there, it smelled, but the rice was really good and that spicy chicken was really good. I'm excited to try a traditional Nasi Lamak here soon. Sorry if this vlog is short today. We're just gonna get home as fast as we can so Anna can get some rest. Thanks for watching. Leave a like and comment below. Let's have fun in the next one. See ya.